the service meteorologist Landon Eilert. Hey, Landon. Hey, good evening. How are y'all doing today? Doing well. So category two, get straight right into it. Tell us what does this mean and how intense are we expecting this storm to develop? Yeah, this is definitely a powerful typhoon that's uh, making its approach toward the island. And we're talking about a category two typhoon. Think back to Typhoon Man cut back in September 2018. That was a, a low end category three that struck Rhoda directly. We could be dealing with that same similar situation here on Guam later this week. And I'm going to turn the camera around. This is our Typhoon Mawar right now that is upgraded to a category typhoon this afternoon with maximum sustained winds of 100 miles per hour, making a target of Guam this evening. And we're expecting a a very near passage, if not a direct passage over Guam on Wednesday. Right, right. and I know that, but I just wanted to ask Pamela on that. How soon will you expect conditions to worsen? Yeah, we're looking at those conditions starting to worsen this evening, mainly in the way of rainfall. I'm gonna flip the radar on right now. We have the showers on the outermost rain band that's coming into Guam right now. We're seeing the showers scattered across the area. This is gonna be inc increasing in coverage through tonight, through tomorrow, and then the winds are really gonna start picking up tomorrow. We're looking at tropical storm force winds likely arriving by Tuesday evening. So we're telling people, make sure all your plans are set in place. People are sheltered and hunkered down for the passage of a category two, possibly category three typhoon by sundown Tuesday. So by the time the sun sets on Tuesday, everyone should be in place and remain there through sun up on Thursday morning. Wednesday will be the worst of it as this typhoon makes its way very near to Guam, if not directly overhead. Wow, well, yeah, we already saw that track going further south from uh, what we saw over the weekend, Landon. Thank you so much for what you and your team are doing to keep us safe and informed. Thank you very much, Nick, and thank you for being our voice because preparedness is everyone's responsibility from Guam Homeland to the media and the National Weather Service. So thank you for uh, being a voice for us and helping us get the word out. No doubt. Thank you as well. Be safe.